A Japanese expert is calling on the government to make thorough checks on wild plants and animals for radioactive contamination. The move comes after the recent discovery of high levels of radioactivity in a kind of mushroom and a wild boar. Following the Fukushima nuclear accident, the central government set safety limits on radioactive substances in food. On September 3rd, a species of mushroom found in a forest in Fukushima Prefecture was discovered to contain 28,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram. That's an amount far above the safety limit. A wild boar was also found to have radiation amounts of about six times the safety limit. Gakushin University professor Yasuki Maramat says radioactive cesium on soil and fallen leaves in forests is easily absorbed by mushrooms and edible plants. He explains that high levels of radiation accumulate in wild animals like boars when they eat the contaminated items. The professor adds that wild fauna and flora across Europe have been affected by radiation from the Chernobyl accident. He believes detailed studies should be carried out in Fukushima to examine the impact of the nuclear accident on local plants and animals. Former Chief Cabinet Secretary Yuko Edema has been appointed as the country's new economy, trade and industry minister just 10 days after the appointment of his predecessor. Edano, age 47, is currently serving his sixth term in the lower house. In February last year, Edano was appointed government revitalization minister. It was Edano's first cabinet post. He later became the governing Democratic Party's secretary general. While serving as Chief Cabinet Secretary since January, Edano led the government's efforts to cope with the Fukushima nuclear accident and provide support for those affected. Former Trade Minister Yoshio Hachiro left his post on Saturday after making inappropriate remarks about radiation contamination in Fukushima Prefecture. This came only eight days after Noda launched his cabinet. Economy and Industry Minister Yukio Edano says Japan should become a society that can live without nuclear power before it can have a national debate on the need for such energy. Edano gave his first news conference since taking office on Monday. We should take swift actions to promote energy saving and develop alternative power sources. By implementing these measures, we should create a society in which people and industries can live without nuclear power. After that, there should be a public debate on the necessity of nuclear plants. And then also called on Japan to keep reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But he said there should be a fresh discussion on the stated reduction target of 25 percent from 1990 level by 2020. He said such a debate is needed as Japan reviews its energy policy following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Referring to possible power shortages this winter, Edano said the government hopes to allow some of the idled nuclear plants to be restarted. Authorities in France are reportedly dealing with an explosion at a nuclear facility. Reuters says it happened at around 11.45 local time at Marcoule nuclear waste processing site in southern France. The news service is citing the country's nuclear safety watchdog, ASN. It says one person is dead, but that no radioactive waste has leaked into the environment. The blast injured four other people. One is reported to be in serious condition. Around the time of the explosion, a fire reportedly occurred at the site but was immediately extinguished. Markul is a nuclear waste management site. It does not have any reactors. There are many nuclear-related facilities in the city. The ASN says the explosion occurred near a furnace.
France's Electricity Authority controls the Marcou nuclear waste management site. The member countries of the International Atomic Energy Agency will discuss a draft action plan to secure the safety of nuclear power plants throughout the world following the Fukushima crisis. The IAEA will start its board meeting in Vienna, Austria on Monday. The draft includes a provision that would allow the IAEA to conduct regular safety assessments of the nuclear power plants of member countries on a voluntary basis. Another item in the draft plan calls for the IAEA to confirm safety measures and designs of nuclear power plants at an early stage upon request of the countries planning to build them. Germany and Switzerland want the safety assessments to be compulsory, but countries including the United States and Britain are opposed and insist on voluntary assessments only. Germany and Switzerland are moving away from nuclear energy, while the United States and Britain are still promoting its use. U.S. and Japanese researchers have launched a study of the environmental impact of debris from the March 11th tsunami that's drifting in the Pacific Ocean. Japan's Environment Ministry estimates the March earthquake and tsunami created around 24.9 million tons of rubble. It's believed that much of it is now floating along in the Pacific. Nikolai Maximenko, a senior researcher at the University of Hawaii's International Pacific Research Center, is analyzing the paths of the drifting material. There are many aspects, uh, there are many ways how debris can harm uh, our shores and uh, uh, our ecosystem. People are concerned uh, uh, about beauty of our coastline. He says the debris are now probably several hundred kilometers east of the Midway Islands. This would be about 2,000 kilometers northwest of Hawaii. He says some of it may reach Hawaii as early as next spring. Meanwhile, Professor Shigeru Fujieda of Japan's Kagoshima University began research on the debris in Hawaii last week. He examined large quantities of rubbish scattered on a beach in Oahu on Friday. There was nothing from Japan but he expects that large amounts of material, including plastic waste and fishing nets, could reach Hawaii. Professor Fujieda says it's difficult to collect drifting rubble in the sea. He adds that it's highly likely it will affect the environment of the Pacific Islands.